The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he loves penises and hates vaginas. Please welcome Mr. J.P. You're not wrong. That's totally true. And also, we have the only two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, and he beats the shit out of anorexia on a regular Stand basis. Up? Please welcome Mr. Derek the Rec Alders. Oh, there's my standing ovation. Stand up. Yeah. Stand up. Come on. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yeah, Thank fine, you. Fine. Fine. Man, you are impressive. Yeah. Yes. I tell you what. Yeah. You know? If I had a dollar for every time I said I'd heard that, I would have no dollars. <laughs> uh, but anyways, welcome into another episode. If this is the very first time you've listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy show where we like to use very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we use foul language and offend people who have thin skin. So if you are one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Woo! Hi, guys. Hey, how's it going, man? It's going, man. It's going. Good. I love every bit of it. I'm so happy to be here. Good, man. How about you guys? I'm fucking... I'm looking at it more of like a chore tonight okay. than, than anything. Great. But uh, Welcome no, to Team Derek. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've switched sides. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, I'm happy to be here That's, always. I You're going to be eating pussy in no time. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not really that far off. <laughs> I have actually started laying the groundwork. Uh, man. Very nice. good. Yeah. Very good. First, I'm going to fuck a trance. Yeah. Well, and then I'm going to see how that goes. Okay. And then I'm going <sighs> to... Try something with a little less hair. Well, okay. if you uh, if you decide to start eating pussy and you get good at it, apparently you're going to need to borrow Scotty's helmet. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah. so. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> it won't. Uh, but anyways, guys, we have an excellent show this week. We've got headlines, never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, a draft. And as always, we wrap this bitch up with a shitty situation. But before we get on to that, we, uh, we, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week, there, a couple weeks. We call it our week, week recap. And uh, we're going to kick this off with the most anticlimactic person, Mr. JP. What'd I remember you- it like it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I sat around and smoked pot all week, <laughs> yeah. played video games, and yeah. bowled. Yeah? And I went to Easter dinner. Uh, no, 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 no. No, yeah. it's not Easter dinner. Yeah. No, it's Transgender Visibility Day. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that's, yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you hook up with one? You're saying you're, you're kind of thinking about it. I'm thinking about, about it. Yeah. I've been trying, but they don't want me either. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. Son of a bitch. I yeah. mean, they've been setting us up for that. I remember those old Cadbury egg commercials with the dog with the ears on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So, I mean, they bitch, it's slowly been getting there. <laughs> Makes perfect sense yeah. now. Yeah. Perfect yeah. sense. Thank God we talked about it. Because Absolutely. That is, that's a hot take right there. They've been grooming me since I was six. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking lions out there going bark, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking great. That's good. But uh, yeah, so I went to Easter dinner. Very disappointed. Oh, uh, oh, my niece got there and she made like deviled eggs, macaroni salad, and baked bean. I like sides. I'm not like yeah. a big. Okay, like, it's my favorite things, man. Yeah, and here's the thing. They used fucking, she used mayo in the deviled eggs instead of Miracle Whip. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. I can't no, taste it. No, it matters. Different. Dude, it d- you got to have yeah. the tangy zip of Miracle Whip. I, Otherwise, it's fucking trash. I, I, I mean, it's it's kind of a weird thing about me, and I really don't like to talk about it very often. But you I don't f- like that kind I of stuff. I fucking hate deviled eggs. Yeah. 
Oh my god! I fucking, fucking hate him. I could live off double. Oh, I know man. Derek can too. Oh Anytime god, we're over and his and his wife makes a huge fucking tray of it, I mean, it's like she made that all for you. I ain't touching it. Yeah, man. that's how I order my eggs at IHOP. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Deviled. Uh, how would you like your eggs, sir? <laughs> Satan. Deviled. Deviled. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, but, but no, yeah. it's not not for me. I was Their real. Omelets are weird, dude. <laughs> I I was like pissed. I was like, there's all the there's like so many deviled eggs in uh -huh. there but then my sister i found out my sister made some too and she made the macaroni salad turns out she didn't use fucking miracle whip either what the fuck is wrong with these people <laughs> like i was literally going door to door knocking on hey are you guys having easter dinner you guys got deviled <laughs> eggs macaroni salad uh you care if i come by i mean dude it was very disappointing yeah yeah um anything else that you did uh my roommate my new roommate, I think he's been at the house for like a month. Oh. He, older guy. I don't know if he can't drive because of something or he just doesn't want to drive. I don't know. But he has this e-bike. It's a rad fucking dude. It's badass. I, I've seen him before. Yeah, dude, it's bad. Not in Kansas. Somebody but. stole it. He went to Target to buy groceries and fucking somebody cut his lock and fucking stole his e-bike. No. Yeah, so oh. I've been running him around all fucking week. Oh. He was at Target. He should have just bought another bike. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, those bikes are very expensive. It, it was like seventeen hundred dollars. Yeah, bike. it's a two thousand dollar bike. Yeah. Oh, that's a little <clears throat> much for a bicycle. I don't know. You can. Win it's your, electric. It, it's it's definitely it's motorized. It goes like yeah. Fuck. I think he said he, he's got. And that's a, a, that's he, a motorcycle then. Well, no, no, no. It's Look, a, man. It's here's the thing. <laughs> it's is this the way motorcycle. you're gonna fucking be all show, dude? Because if so, <laughs> we can just fucking do this right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. Like, hey, if, man. If it's, uh, if you, you know what, dude? If, what makes a bike a bike is pedaling it. <laughs> you, you can, it's got pedals. It's got pedals. It, I don't uh, know why. <laughs> I don't either. Maybe just to make you feel like you're riding That's a bike. That's like having a speedboat with paddles. <laughs> it's, no, no. <laughs> no, it's a go-go. This go. thing will get up to 80 miles an hour. Grab an oar. No, yeah. like, it's you just it. like, what the fuck? It's like a go-go gadget stationary bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's a sad story, and you're making fun of it. I know. So, I'm sorry. He's not going to be able to get some exercise on his e-bike now. <laughs> yeah, right. That's <laughs> right. Imagine how fat he's going to get. I know. He's not burning calories. Right. Just going bzzz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that's what it sounds like. <laughs> be exactly. Because they're too, they're as expensive as two funniest person in Wichita comedy contests. That's exactly what right. It is. Yeah. He yeah. could afford one. <laughs> if, Absolutely. If only he won that contest twice. Uh, yeah, I've still, you know, I've been retired for almost a year now. <laughs> That's uh, good from job. Work. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah I've just right. Been living off my winnings. Uh -huh. Well, you could do that just off your wheel of fortune winning. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's that's a lot of contests. Yeah. But right that's there. all that happened this week. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Pretty much, I think. Uh, oh, I did get my ass kicked by an eighty-year-old man <laughs> in bowling last night. <laughs> oh well, you know. But it's handicap, motherfucker, <laughs> fucking handicap. Yeah, I gotta he was, stop. Oh, he, I gotta was stop handicapped. he was handicapped. He was in a wheelchair, beating the no. hell out of you. Yeah, he just rode an e-bike up to the approach <laughs> and then fucking threw and the then ball. Threw the ball, <laughs> fucking killed the pins. It was crazy. I, I figured there was some rule against it, but yeah. turns out there's no e-bike rule. Yeah, as long as you don't uh, foul. Yeah, <laughs> ride that motherfucker till the cows come home. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, by the third game, he ran out of charge, and <laughs> yeah. he wasn't any good after that. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, well, okay. Um, well, I, I had an excellent weekend, and you want to know why? Because I golfed both days. Nice. I did. I played, uh, I played the hardest course, at least in our area. Um, uh, uh, Sand Creek Station, it's up in Newton. It's a very difficult course, and I shot an 88, which I'm not really proud of, but that's, that's, like, that's a little bit below average game for me. And then I played another course, and it was it was pretty windy. I mean, there were gusts of like twenty miles per hour, and I shot an eighty-five. But I hit a three hundred and forty-five yard drive. I have witnesses that, that were there. However, I what I don't normally tell involved with that story is the wind was directly uh, at my back. Yeah, like <laughs> thirty mile an hour. <laughs> I just got, I nailed that motherfucker. It's a three hundred and sixty yard hole, and I got it up in that jet stream of air, and it was like right in front of the fucking green. I was like, oh, great. Uh, so I had that. Uh, I did want to give a shout out. I went. 
I don't really go through my or the show's messenger as much anymore. And I know a lot of people sh- uh, like shoot us messages, but I found one and I didn't fucking put his name in there. I'm so sorry. But uh, he um, he sent us a message and he just had a baby. If his, he named it Scotty, they should take it from him. No, he's, <laughs> they should probably take it from him anyway if he listens to this show and had a baby. His, he, he wanted me to give a shout out to his new son, Braxton. who was born Sunday. He said, my girlfriend absolutely hates when I listen to your show in the car. uh, Nice in there, but uh, how much I love the show. She tolerates it. Uh, Don't ever stop. So, uh, thank you very much for the message. I did. Uh, whoever you are. Whoever you are. No, I, yeah. Boy, I can, he's real committed to this deal, <laughs> know, folks. Right? Don't you the, worry. He gave the shout out to Braxton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right, right, exactly. Right. Shout out to Braxton. Yeah, but. Anyway. Congratulations on being bored. That, absolutely, born. absolutely. Welcome to the world. Welcome You're going to fucking hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It's gonna fucking. It's suck. gonna tear you up. It where really you just will. where you just came out of, you're gonna spend the rest of your life trying to get you're back in. No, it's not <laughs> true. That uh, may not be true. Yeah, uh, but anyways, there was that. I'm trying. I'm really trying to find. Who it would be was. nice. I know, it would be I'm really trying. cool. I'm going through it, but it's like man. Fuck. Uh, and I did go through a whole bunch of other messages of people sending me like uh, kids with Down syndrome doing fun stuff. So thank you for all of these people <laughs> doing fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's anything, what they do. Anything yeah. they do is fun stuff, dude. What's, yeah, that, that's not really a disability. Have you ever seen one eat a pudding pop? No. It's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> no, and, and Shane Gillis is exactly right. These are the happiest people on oh, the fucking earth. Absolutely, one hundred percent. So, uh, but yeah. Uh, anyways. That's why I'm surprised Derek's always so pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. No kidding. Well, he's in Ireland most of the time, so that's mm. the other part of it. I've only been once. Okay, fine. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, the other thing that I did, I didn't really like do anything other than golf, and then I watched a whole bunch of new TV shows that have come out, and uh, I, I I watched Ladder Milk. I took your I advice. I loved it. Did you I, like it? I fucking love it. It's yeah, so yeah, great. It's it, is, show. It, it is one of the best background noise shows that I've ever seen. So I'm watching episodes on repeat because I miss something and then I rewatch it and it's fucking hilarious. It's fucking so good. Brian Regan is great. Uh, that? Oh, yeah. He's excellent. Muggsy. Excellent. <laughs> Did you get to the dart part yet? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep my I just shut. started it because the re- main reason why I had to start that show is because I got ridiculously frustrated um, a couple of nights ago because I got into the new uh, show on Hulu. It's called Shogun. It's about feudal Japan and samurais and shit. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. And I like to binge fucking shows. Yeah, you watched it all, Uh, huh? I thought that every single episode was out. I watched six episodes in a row, and then it tries to shift me to another show. I go, what the fuck? I look up the schedule, and sure as shit, next two episodes are in the next two weeks. Fuck you, Hulu. Fuck you, Hulu. So I got in. I, I switched over to Louder Milk. I'm watching that, and and I watch that myself because that's more of a me show, not a me and my wife show. My wife, my <laughs> wife. Uh, but we started watching another one, which is excellent as well. I encourage everybody to watch it. It's on Netflix. Yeah, I've been it's trying to get into this. The one. Gentleman. Okay, it's fucking great. It's slow, but it, when it gets into it, oh, it gets. And good. I love Gentlemen. I know you do. Uh, so yeah, I I, I re- strongly recommend all three of those shows. Slow like it takes yeah. a bit to get into, or slow like JP will watch a meat of pudding. <laughs> <laughs> the first Both. one, okay. <laughs> yeah, the first one. Uh, but but all three are excellent. Uh, just don't watch Shogun for the next two weeks, and then it'll be out. And you can watch every bit. Of uh, it. Yeah. So, anyways, Derek, you haven't been here for two weeks. I know it's been great. I know. <laughs> Welcome back. And even better, Sucker. even better. Once you get through this one tonight. You get to go and play baseball. Yeah, I get to well, do not, baseball. Not, not play. Not no. play. They haven't called oh, me up yet. Yeah, I thought any what, day now. Yeah, I'm waiting. I, I thought whenever uh, I got to take batting practice, that was for sure uh, they were going to give me a shout. But no, I'm still waiting. No, they're hoping your anorexia starts acting up again. Is yeah. what they're hoping. Yeah. So, anyway, I haven't been eating a lot. I was going to so. say, how's the diet going? I'm down thirty pounds. So fucking congratulations, dude. I'd hug you, but you know, I know you don't want me to. Nope. I know. But you could get both arms around me now. I wouldn't I, that's good. I wouldn't mind seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, guys. That's fucking awesome, Have man. Have a little hug. So it's it, I mean, it's a lot of fucking work. Oh, it, it sucks ass. It, it sucks so much dick. You you're getting ready to go on vacation though, and then I'm uh, gonna eat like an asshole. <laughs> uh I might even eat asshole. <laughs> I don't might. know. You uh, might. I uh my wife made for Easter, like, 
it's it's something that my mom used to make kind of like a version of it when I was a kid and it's like it was like graham cracker crust, cream cheese, pudding, and whipped cream. Like, ooh, and it, dude, I used to get that for my birthday as a kid every year. She called it chocolate delight. It was like the best fucking thing ever. And my wife made something close to that, um, that's sugar free and low carb. And it's like the sugar free pudding, cream cheese. You're fine. She used like almond flour and stuff for the crust, and then made made the whipped cream. Wow, fuck, dude. Uh, <laughs> I, I told her today. I was like, you know, I feel like. Let's say I just quit drinking completely, and then all of a sudden I had an O'Doul's, and I just fucking chugged a whole twelve pack of O'Doul's. <laughs> like that, that is that is what that is like. Like, uh, holy shit! Oh, dude, I made noises I haven't made in years <laughs> eating that. Uh, it's fucking amazing. Yeah. But we went to my in-laws for Easter. That was the highlight. The low light was the Illinois game, which we're not going to fucking talk about. <laughs> no, we're not. My. No. Uh, Mother-in-law got to see a side of me she probably hasn't ever seen before. <laughs> um, and I was waiting all day for that. Like, I, I had it watching repeat highlights on their yeah. TV. Wouldn't let her mom turn the channel. I'm like, no, the game's on in, like, two hours. We're doing pregame. Yeah. Like, it, it was fucking. And then I fought. That's one of the only games I ever quit watching. Really? Yeah. When they, <sighs> before the 30 to 0 run, when they went on, like, a 16 0 run, I was like, I'm done. Yeah. I'm fucking done. Yeah. And uh, I just walked out. Yeah. But uh, did, did that. Uh, got a couple new video games. Ooh, what you got? Uh, I got the new South Park game, okay. Snow Day. How's that? It's okay. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, I like it. It's got cuss words, so I'm always on board with that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and then I bought uh, Ghosts of Sashimi. I'm s- s- Sashima, but yes. No, this one's about haunted fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird, man. It's like finding Nemo, but like eyeballs popping out and shit. <laughs> so honest, honest to God, what do you think of ghosts? I like it a lot. That's I really great. like the, I like that type of combat. Yes. On the controls. The only thing that's fucking with me is I played like Arkham a shitload. Yeah. And like to block and parry, it was always triangle. Uh huh. And so I find myself trying to like swing when I'm getting hit in the face with a sword. It doesn't work very good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I really do like it. That's I just, awesome. I can't play a game like if, I usually go to bed around 1230-ish. Yeah. So I have to stop playing by like 9 because my brain will just keep going. Mm-hmm. So I haven't got to play a ton of it. That's fine. And but it, I love it. That is that is one. You're 100% correct. Especially with that game, mm-hmm. you'll get fucking hooked. And you will find yourself like starting to play at like 6 o'clock. And then you'll look up at the clock and it, you'll think it's like 10. Nope, it's 2 o'clock in the fucking morning. It's, it's one of those games. It's yeah, I, that first day I got it, I played it at like five and then my wife got home and then she was all of a sudden going to bed and i'm like fuck it's 10 30 yep like i was like, i gotta shut this shit off yeah it is it's one of those so i've been doing that practice uh had practice runs with the wind surge for uh pa and did that whole deal and mm-hmm. then i start that this week so. yep yep seasons has started yeah pretty much <coughs> so, so pretty big deal yep well i hope everybody else had a great oh, week oh, oh never mind the Go other ahead. shitty thing uh i have to make a three thousand dollar repair to my deck what? Yeah. I was watching the games not this past week, but the week before on Sunday, and all of a sudden I started hearing like Uh-oh. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? It sounded like my sink in my basement was on. And then I look over and I go over to the window and I am leaking from both sides of my window. It turns out uh the flashing we put on had worked itself back underneath so uh i've got a guy that's gonna come out i have to rebolt the deck to the house because i had it bolted to the siding so i gotta pull the ledger board off pull some deck boards off rebolt it to the house flash it flash tape it uh he said it's probably about a day and a half two day job i know the guy that's doing it but it's probably gonna run about three grand to do. holy shit yeah that sucked ass yeah that does suck ass yeah so <laughs> not fun now you all you gotta do is do another wichita's funniest person i was gonna yeah. say I gotta win thank, three god, of those that, thank god that you're rich <laughs> yeah exactly i gotta <laughs> i gotta be a five-time winner of that now. there goes yeah, all that wheel of fortune money. there it goes yeah no, I still got like six mil of that. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. Mm-hmm. Dreads for you. Let me hold a hundred. No kidding. A <laughs> hundred uh, cents, maybe. Yeah, that's cool. That's a whole dollar. I'll, take, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll fucking take it. Well, I hope everybody else out there had a great week or weekend. Uh, but we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, we're gonna kick this bitch off with headlines. Um, it is officially opening day. Well, it's not anymore. It's was opening day. The baseball season is officially kicked off. And I'm very, very happy. Oh, man, I'm pumped. I'm fucking excited. I fucking love baseball. We're, all of our favorite teams are going to get the absolute shit kicked out of us by the Dodgers, 
But it's okay to, you know, root for your team okay until you play them. It depends yeah. when Otani gets hurt. That's true. That's true. Or, when he, on or when he goes to jail. One yeah. of the two. Or, or yeah, he, or, he's guilty as fuck. He is 100% guilty. They said the bookmaker now has uh, his bookie head fucking. He's like, no, that's my client. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there there is that. But I, I was absolutely appalled, JP. Appalled. It shocked. I get a text message on, like, what was it? What was it, Derek? What day was it? I don't know what fucking days you get text messages. I think it was maybe Saturday. Yeah, it was the last game that we were that the Cardinals opened up the series against the Los Angeles Dodgers, like you do. Oh, when I texted you? And I get a text message from my good buddy, <laughs> Derek. Wow, well, good buddy. Use that loosely here. Sorry, my acquaintance, Derek. That's a little better, but you're still a little higher. <laughs> this and guy I know. He actually says that he is rooting for the Cardinals. I said the wow. Cardinals. He did say Cardinals. the Cardinals, but, but you knew what he meant. I knew what he meant. Yeah. When they're playing the Dodgers. Did they lose? Yeah, oh, of yeah. course yeah, they yeah, lost. They, yeah, they That's did. why. That's why I was rooting yeah, for Yeah, right. exactly. Uh, but no, I, I was very, very shocked. I, I don't have a problem with his well, team. Well, he hates the Dodgers so much. I, Dude, everybody, I do does. everybody does. I didn't yeah, until then. I, like, I disliked yeah. them, but now I hate them. Yeah, I, I am in the same way. I, I disliked them, and then they bought Freddie Freeman, and he didn't even want to leave Atlanta. And then he, they got Mookie Betts, and well, they got Mookie Betts first, I think. And then they ended up getting Otani. Yeah, I fucking and then Yamamoto the, and Yamamoto too. So yeah. and the way they did the Otani deal still fucking rubs me raw. It uh, it does absolutely. So I uh, fuck them. I don't know who do you hate more? Do you hate the Houston Astros? No, I or hate the, the Dodgers, Dodgers the more. Most. They've Ooh. they've passed the Astros. <gasps> wow, man. That's saying something. Yeah. This is something that Derek and myself actually agree on. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking true. Yeah, they have fucking leapfrogged well, the Astros. Yeah. Into a, yeah. Houston, yeah. we have a problem. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is. Much like the Broncos, I'm a Rockies <laughs> fan, so it's going to be a long, long baseball season. Uh, it will be. Um, so, yeah, very excited. Uh, we also... I obviously, I don't really want to talk about men's college basketball. I'm actually going to talk about women's college basketball. Caitlin Clark is a fucking beast, man. Yeah, Fuck she her. is, man. Fucking Dude, beast. She's ridiculous. Nine threes. I've said it. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. She is going to go on to make thousands of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. I will actually counter that. She is going to make millions of dollars. I, I She'll have to offer, make it all on endorsements. Well, no, no. They, she's getting offers from everybody. She's getting uh, offers from uh, Ice Cube. She's getting also offers from David Portnoy. Portnoy w- was at the game when they beat LSU. Yeah, you know that Just, guy got picked on in high school. That for last sure. Name. Oh, Portnoy. Did. Fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can tell by the way he acts. He was picked on. Fuck you, Portnoy. <laughs> like, he got fucking uh, fucked with bad. I don't know. I, like, but here's the thing. That's why he likes pizza because he got his lunch taken every day. He's just making up for lost time. Oh, absolutely. But I don't know if he's not the worst, though. Uh, Rappaport is by far the worst. He is a whiny, cry, little bitchy baby. And But they're but they're kind of close to each other, so I'm just saying that. Yeah. But but um, anyways. One, one was in higher learning, though. Yeah. <laughs> so he does have So he has the uh, advantage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was really cool to watch. I, I, I tip my hat to her. She was awesome. She, oh, she's Excellent, amazing dude. game. She makes everybody around her better. I didn't watch the game. I just just got to see the highlight reels and i gotta say i was pretty damn impressed um and uh, i thought that whenever she won she was class act she went through shook everybody's hand had nice conversations she didn't do what you think the other team did last year to her and i know she started it she did that to every team last year she had every fucking right to retaliate in this situation and she didn't she actually outclassed them and she uh, learned her yeah. lesson from last year. No, no, she beat him. She it's not. She learned her lesson. She was just like, all right, I've proven my point. I'm not going to be the one that did that shit to me. Yeah. I'm going to be I'm going to be humble and do it this way. So I, I like I like her. And then she ends up hanging out and taking a picture with Ted Lasso, which is always going to make me feel like a good guy. So, so let me ask you this then. Yeah. If she plays on the WNBA and they come near Wichita, are you going Absol- to watch? Them absolutely again? fucking not. Then shut up. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. I didn't watch that game. I just watched the highlights, and I was like, ah, she can shoot. You fucking red zone the WNBA. Uh, every uh, basket, I got to watch. Every basket, uh, I got to see every score. So me and Derek actually know a fucking person who religiously watches the WNBA. I don't. Yes, he do, because he's up in the fucking booth with you. Who? You told me about it. I can't remember. I'll tell you after this. Okay. Thing. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. So but there can't be that many people in the booth. <laughs> there's not. 
Uh, but oh, it, Chance? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a weird guy. <laughs> he's a weird guy. He loves watching the WNBA. Nicest guy in the world, but a little off. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Uh, but I will I will move on to the men's uh, NCAA tournament. It's We're down to the final four. Uh, I know we've got the the people that are supposed to be there. You've got Purdue, UConn, and Alabama. Um, but you have NC State. I don't think there's anybody that's not rooting for NC State at this point. They're an 11 seed. They've made it all the way to the Final Four. And uh, I think they are. I think they're still the highest seed to ever win a national title because it was with um, uh, Dickie B. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I, I love to see what happens. I'm rooting for them, though. I'm not watching a single game because I won't watch college sports anymore since the NIL bullshit. But anyways, uh, but we had a lot of stuff not sports. Did you, see, did you oh. see the three-point line? Uh-uh, no, I didn't. They had two different three-point lines on the same court. What? One was closer than the other one. They I, measured and they were wrong. How in the fuck did that happen? I don't know, man. Drugs? <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, man. Settle down. Let's not go blaming drugs. <laughs> Let's not give drugs a bad rap here. Oh, they weren't PEDs, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> for sure. But, yeah, the teams that had to agree to play that way. They're like, oh, I guess we'll, we'll we'll deal with it. Well, yeah, it was like Texas and Baylor. And, yeah, I, I don't know if it was the men's or women's. I think it was the women's. That's uh, crazy. Two different three-point lines. So did both count? No, it's from the beyond the arc. Wow. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you the distance. Well, then here why'd they leave the other line on there? The only thing that would make sense to me is because the women's three-point line is different than the men's. Yeah. So that'd be the only thing that would make sense, unless it was just a in miscalculation in trying to draw the paint. Yeah, they said rather than correct the court uh, and delay the game, they'd just go ahead and play. It was in Portland. Uh, uh, yeah. Does it say men's or women? It fucking doesn't tell yeah, me. Okay. Oh, women's. Oh, there you go. On court, we're different. Different. Oh, uh, well, that makes more sense. They, they, who yeah, cares? Who just let them shit. play. Yeah, just let them play. Yeah, who cares? Not it's, fuck it does, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's like it watching. Anyway. It's like watching your five year old play t ball. Nobody yeah, gives a shit. Nobody cares. It's, it's crazy that they, they all actually get a, keep score. They, they all get a ribbon at the end and <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> a little trophy. Yeah. Ah, good for you and your participation trophies. Uh, anyways, uh, now we get to move on to some headlines that are not related to sports. I don't know if you guys have been seeing, but apparently there's been some boats running into some fucking bridges lately. It happens. It happens. Yikes. Yeah. Wow. Dude. Is that a conspiracy? What a way to go. Is that, I mean, is it a conspiracy? No. You Why would it be so? a conspiracy? I don't know. There's a lot of people, because that's like the main motherfucking bridge to get people stuff in Baltimore. But it's like you think they're trying to destroy you, Baltimore. Why are you trying to take out Baltimore? It's sh- already shitty enough. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? I mean, they're gonna they're gonna do it on their own eventually. <laughs> exactly. Just, just wait just a couple them, years. Yeah, just let them do yeah, it. They're gonna be fine. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, that it was abs. I didn't realize how fucking big. Like, you watch the video of that boat hitting that bridge. It's huge. And you, you you just think, oh, it's it looks just like a, a little small, toy, man. Yeah, it looks like a toy it's bridge. It's a huge it's fucking, a fucking bridge, dude. Huge bridge. Yeah. Thank huge God. barge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God there was only like. Uh, it's sad that 20 people, I think, lost their lives in that thing. But because that's crazy it was, I that that was it. Last I read was six. Oh, I don't know. I think there was maybe a total of 20 people that were, on the, were on the bridge. Maybe were on the bridge. Maybe were on the bridge. Because they got that mayday call out in the yeah. bridge police. The bridge police. Well, not only that, it was they fucking. They just hang out there. Like two or bridge three. PD. Bridge. Yeah. bridge PD. Don't let anybody move. Wait, everybody move. Move faster. Yeah. 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 But it was also like two or three o'clock in the morning, too. So it was like low. Yeah. It was, you know, it was people working on the bridge that died like, yeah yeah there are motherfucking barges <laughs> coming for this motherfucking bridge <laughs> oh my god but so so yeah that was fucking nuts I, i've i've yeah, never seen and then, i like to think that maybe there was a bomb on the barge <laughs> and they had to keep it above 60 knots yeah. an hour the barge was gonna Speed explode three. <laughs> Speed five, the yeah. barge. Speed two was on a boat, I yeah, believe. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Cruise control. Oh. Cruise control, oh. yeah. <laughs> that, is, that was it. Fuck me. Uh, but yes, uh, I got <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Uh, oh, no, no, not moving on. Uh, somebody tried to compare it because I guess like two or three days later, there was another boat that hit a bridge in, oh, really? in the middle of nowhere in Oklahoma. And they were like, what's going on? It's like the, oh. They didn't even need the bridge. <laughs> they just like, built it because yeah. they were like, I wonder if we can. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Um, anyways, now moving on. I know. What I, if it was I, just the Mythbusters? <laughs> 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 they were reenacting. <laughs> they were like, yeah. like, is that? 
that really enough to take out an entire uh, yeah. bridge? Yeah. <laughs> now we put 36 shipping containers on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just build the biggest one they can, not yeah. get the fuck over. Uh, or it's awesome. that Lego show that tests the stress level of things. Yeah. And they're just like, let's try this with a bridge. Yeah. Like a real bridge. Uh-huh. Uh, next one, I got more messages about this. I can't, I can't even list off how many people that sent us messages, basically telling us that Lizzo, uh, has decided to quit yeah. uh, being a singer amid ongoing bullying on social media. Everybody give yourself a round of applause, especially yeah. us. Give us a round of applause. Thank we you fi- bullies. We finally struck a nerve with her. She saw last week's draft and uh, apparently I, I'm, my joke. She, I guarantee she saw last week's draft. <laughs> yeah, that's what She's did an it. avid listener. Yeah, that's what did it. Uh, that's what no she doubt. did. You uh, almost had a song wrote about you. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I would sit on his face and kill him that uh, way. Truth squirts. <laughs> truth squirts. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. But obviously the biggest headlines uh, of the whole fucking week that Derek, out of everybody who pays attention to shit, had no idea that this happened until he came down here and we started talking about this. Ironically, I thought that on last week's show, uh, during the show, we were talking about we were P. Diddy. Yeah, we were actually sitting there talking, which we recorded on a Saturday. And so we predicted the fucking future. Yeah, we did. But it was because we're of like something the Simpsons different. Now, yeah, we're the Simpsons. <laughs> oh, I wish we could have recorded that shit. Uh, but no, yeah, Lizzo, we, Diddy. <laughs> we just knew. We just knew that there was a lot of rumors about uh, Diddy being involved with the assassination of Tupac and Biggie, and and a lot there of information. Been for years, yeah, and, yeah. and everybody kind of knew, knew or like knows about it. And so I said, he's in his plane and he is leaving the fucking country for show. Sure. And guess what happened the very next day? P. Diddy's, both of P. Diddy's houses get raided by the police and FBI. Uh, his sons are arrested uh, and a lot of other people as well. And people are now ratting him out. But because it was all because of a warrant for a, se- or a child sex trafficking ring. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Not Diddy. The Diddler. Not Diddy. <laughs> the Diddler. They got Diddy. They got the Diddler. Dude, it's over. They got Diddy. Oh, it's all no, coming down. Man, it, no. It's all coming down. Puff Daddy molested those kids, Diddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Those are yeah. two different people. Yeah. That is true. You know what? That's what that guy. Fucking Puffy. That's what he gets for making like nine versions of All About the Benjamins. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But then the other thing is, is like, what what do what do innocent people do? They don't flee. Well, he fled. They don't leave. He, he fled. He took the fuck off and said, deuces, it's bitches. It's basically where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. Yeah. Only it's, P. Diddy it, 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 edition. Yeah, the Diddler yeah. edition. The Diddler edition. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, just playing I'll be missing you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, there's a lot of rumors that he's like going to some like island near Africa that doesn't have like an exchange deal to where we can send somebody. He's finally other. going home. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, but yeah, so he may. I don't know. That's I, crazy. I, for dude. sure, they're gonna catch him. I really hope so. But he's uh, got enough money to get out of it. I think. Oh, maybe. I I don't think so. I don't think so. This is a. Uh, this is one of those things that you piss off the enough people and they they are going to fucking have you. That's that's what's going to happen. So, but anyways, that is this week's headlines. Uh, now we get to move on to the fun, right? Yes. This is the fun. I and didn't think fun. we were ever going to get there. The, yeah. The fun started at Lizzo quits. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is true. I'm surprised we didn't have shots and some little confetti. Oh, right? no. We should have got those party streamer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but no, uh, thank you guys very much for participating or participating, participating in Monday Friday. Um, <laughs> that's a new word. Can I just start doing that? I'm just gonna use yeah, that we should. That. Yeah. Participating. Par- participating. Uh, but Monday Friday. Uh, Participators. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it makes it easier. Um, but yeah, thank you for all of your suggestions. Uh, know that Monday Friday is is what it's going to be from now on. It makes it a little bit easier and gives you guys a little bit more time to make suggestions. Uh, depending on when we record the show. So, anyways, uh, now we get to move and on to if never. We, if we pick your your suggestion, Scotty will send you a picture of his scrotum. <laughs> no, I Ooh. won't. No, is, I won't. No. Okay. Uh, but anyways, that's not what he told me, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're gonna kick this off with "Never Have I Ever." The very first one comes in from Josh McEachern. He wants to know, never have I ever broken any sort of electronics due to the result of a sporting event. 
Derek over this last weekend. <laughs> that was fucking close, man. <laughs> that was. I threw my phone. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I almost broke my TV in 2005. Uh, uh, that would be the double doink, if I remember correctly. Nope. That was the Lion Eye losing to oh. UNC in the national title game. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, I have shit aim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Back when controllers had cords, I think I remember raging out and fucking oh. cutting the cord, getting so pissed off. Y- yeah. From a real sporting event, no. From a yeah. video game right. event. I was going to say, that's different. That's real sporting event, never. But a video game, oh, I've tore some shit up. Oh, real yeah. sporting event just for lack of aim. So technically, no, but kind of, yeah. 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 How about you, JP? Dude, I snapped a fucking ps2 controller <laughs> because i i played all sports games mostly and i played with my buddy mark and he was fucking way better than i was oh, yeah. so i won like one out of every like 50 times we played and when it was close and then he would just laugh like we, we'd be playing uh fucking football and it'd be like three minutes left in the game and he's uh he's up by like a field goal and I've got the ball and I'm like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. He'll just laugh and he'll be like, yeah, okay, time to kick it in. And then just beat me by like 30. Yeah. And score like five times. Yeah. Dude, and I, I just got so mad once. I was just like, fuck! And I just fucking twist. <laughs> dude, <laughs> snapped it. He's like, what the fuck, man? You oh, owe me yeah. a new controller? Fuck you, fat ass. Buy your own controller. <laughs> God, yeah, man. but yeah. JP only that. hangs out with people larger than him, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes me look skinnier. <laughs> yeah. It makes me look smaller. Uh, let's see. Next one comes in from Connor. I believe it's it's Castle. It's either Castle or Cassell, but uh, he wants to know. Could be Castle. It could be Castle. Uh, but he wants to know, never have I ever done passive aggressive things around the house to inconvenience my spouse. So here's the thing. I, <laughs> yeah. It hasn't worked yet. <laughs> but but. Um, my wife has like one of those makeup mirrors that comes out from the wall, uh-huh. like on an arm. And it's in our bathroom. And every time I go to like brush my, she never pushes it back. I've asked her to push it back and she doesn't. So I kind of aggressively push it back because it's right <laughs> next to like a towel hook, hoping to crack it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When I stay at your house, I use that mirror to shave my asshole. Good. Yeah. Good. Continue. I love the. I love that mirror. I fucking hate those. Jesus I hate that thing. Christ. So, yeah. I will. Uh, I'll do that. Oh God! My asshole mirror. You leave my <laughs> asshole mirror alone. God, that's so terrible. Uh, are you going to tell your wife? What are you going to tell your wife? Did I shave my asshole <laughs> in her makeup he's mirror? He's never even at the house. It's fine. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I I do things like that, but she also gets me back. It's little stupid stuff, but I have I have told her many many times how absolutely frustrated I get whenever. She, we, we get out of toilet paper because she uses the last one and she leaves the the fucking cardboard roll thing on yeah. it and then grabs the toilet paper and just puts it right next to it. But That's like, what you're supposed to do. Oh, I get so frustrated. Like, why? It's so easy. Yeah. It's so fucking easy. Yeah. And it drives me absolutely yeah. nuts. So she is she is definitely winning this game. That game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. All right. Next one. I had to modify this question in order for it to work with what I wanted. So, but the idea still comes from Ryan Sims. He wants to know, never have I ever been asked to go to the store for something, buy a bunch of other items, but not what I went there to get in the first place. No, I don't go to the store. That's true. You don't. (laughs) So no, he just, well, when you're, a celebrity you don't yeah. like to get recognized and whatnot that's, so of that's course exactly. absolutely yeah that's the worst that's, that's why i go at two o'clock in the morning right I, well i have to call my entourage yeah and my bodyguard no, i get it's a, it's a whole ordeal I get it's a whole ordeal it. yeah yeah of course both of those are steve peters that? my entourage and my bodyguard <laughs> yeah oh i do it all the time are you serious you know when they say that pot doesn't affect your memory <laughs> it's full of shit they lie yeah. <laughs> uh dude i do it all the time I don't, yeah. but my wife does. So yeah. that makes actual sense. Dude, I yeah, do it all absolutely. the time. No, I, I mean, it'll be like she's going to get uh, just dinner for the night, and she has to get all the ingredients, but like she goes there, and she's like, well, then I can save a trip if I get like three days' worth. 
And it's like, but she initially went to go get that. She'll come home and it's like she's forgot two ingredients for what we were having for fucking yeah, yeah. dinner. It has to go right back. Yeah, I've done so that. So absolutely, that happens a lot. Uh, next one comes in from Jesse Young. Excuse me. He wants to know, never have I ever played hooky from work or school to go to a sports event only to be busted from being seen on TV. You got Ferris Bueller. That's right. Never. That's right. Never. No. Fuck Nobody no. does that. I know. Stupid fucking question, no. Jesse. I can't do that because if I go, they're going to put me on TV. Absolutely. Like, oh, look, we have Derek Again. Alders, two time <laughs> winner of the Wichita's <laughs> Funniest Person. That's in the right. Crowd. No doubt. And so I, I just can't skip work to do that. I think a better question that may have actually happened happen more more to us would be if we go to a sporting event or something like that and we tell somebody that you know we can't do something or something and you end up seeing somebody that catches you does that make I've sense? I've done that. See, I've done that before. I've done that. It's like, no, I, I, yeah. I'm sorry, I can't go to your child's right, whatever, fucking because, bar mitzvah yeah. or bullshit. I've got family stuff. I've got going family on or stuff whatever. going on, and then you go to a baseball game, and see there, that yeah. person's best friend or some shit, right. and go, hey, he was at the fucking game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can't go to your kid's birthday party, and then you go to Diddy's house and you see the kid, <laughs> and you're like, exactly shit. Right. shit. Uh, yep. That's I guess exactly. I can make it after all. <laughs> yeah. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus Christ. I think they call it diddled. <laughs> diddled. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. And last one. Yeah, this that's for under eight, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, so. yeah. Uh, last one uh, comes in from Reese Newland. Yeah, man. He sent me a message. Not, Reese did. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's Reese. It's Reese. I was sure hoping it was Reese. Yeah, huh? That's <laughs> right. I'm still going to call him Reese. Fuck him. What's he going to do, dude? <laughs> I think it's French. It's Rissé. 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 Moulin. <laughs> Reese wants to know, never have I ever wore a Speedo to the pool? I already know the answer to yours. I have never. Oh, really? I thought you said you did once. Maybe not. Not a Speedo, no. Okay. okay. Like right. boxer shorts. Oh, yeah, but I've done, I've done that. Or ne or nothing. Yeah, I mean, I've nah, done that, that plenty of times. Yeah, that doesn't count. Most okay. generally, when I went swimming, it was fucking, it was fucking skinny dipping. No, no, Most generally. See, maybe that's what I because I, we always swum like at parties and shit, and yeah. fucking at my friends' houses and fucking, yeah. And so obviously, and most generally, we didn't go there to swim. We just got really drunk and then wanted to. So oh, and fucking, so yeah, naturally, yeah. if you're gonna swim with your best friends, you know, your buddies, or you're just gonna swim naked. Yeah, because I did that a lot when I was young. Well. You know, fucking weirdo. Whatever, man. Uh, no, I, I have never done this in a pool, but when I was in high school, bathtub. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. His dad was still watching yeah. him, but he didn't know the rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we clean, clean, clean. <laughs> no, I've never done it to go swimming or do anything wet. I one time I was in theater in high school and they made me wear a fucking speedo for a part that I was in and shit. And I fucking hated every bit of it. Yeah. It was funny. Do you stuff some socks down there? No, it was Hamlet. It was weird. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah, yeah. It was really weird. Yeah. Don't remind me. Luckily, I, I don't believe my mother has pictures. So that's always good. That's good. Oh, uh, uh, she does. She prints them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've all got copies. Oh, uh, the callbacks today are fucking awesome. All right. How about you, Derek? Uh, back when I had a really good body, <laughs> I have. When you were semen? I was five. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> my aunt had a pool, and when you're five, you wear what they give you. But I had no gut, so I was looking pretty good. Pretty good. It's the only time I could see my dick. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I still don't think I could see it. It's pretty small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it an any? And it was a cold pool. Yeah, yeah it was a cold pool. <laughs> There's no heater. That is like a double whammy. It is. Yeah. I think you should wear one That's whenever a double-edged pocket knife <laughs> that is I, I think you should bring one whenever you go over to japan because that's actually their custom they don't I mean, wear swim trunks over yeah. there they wear speedos so no i will not be doing that <laughs> you can get a cubs one <laughs> <laughs> you know if i rocked one that's what i would that's rock. What, yeah. yeah nice the c would be right around the front <laughs> yeah, of the dick which, right yeah. of course you want to draw everybody and then the bear there. on the ass yeah <laughs> yeah perfect oh my god dude if we don't make those and sell them <laughs> what are we doing with our lives avoiding cease and desist letters <laughs> yeah. oh jesus christ all right well that is never have i ever now we get to move on to jp's favorite uh part of every single episode this is that's where i draw the line yes sir uh yeah let's uh well why not let's just kick this bitch right off 
Uh, I actually came up with this one because let's skip it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about it, and I thought it was it was kind of good one, and I think it's advice for all of you younger people out there. But like my dad was washing me in the bathtub, <laughs> and I thought of this. <laughs> and the term diddler was uh, this was is how coined. We clean, clean, clean. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but no, uh, it is, what is the minimum amount of time that is acceptable to get into a new relationship after ending a very long relationship with someone else? This is a, this is a, an honest question, because you uh, know what the correct answer is. Are we talking straight people, gay people, or lesbians? I think we should dive into that. We can dive into all three. Yeah, we can dive into all three. Lesbians... If they're alone for more than a week, <laughs> they just start to wither away and die. <laughs> so they go like it's they almost it's pre done. Uh, like yeah. you have a new relationship already. Yeah. And you're like, hey, we're going to break up in a week. You better go find a bitch <laughs> because in a week I'm gone and I've already found someone else. So then that gives the other one a week to nice. find. So absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Gay guys. It really depends on how hurt you really are yeah. because it's been a while for me i was gonna say you're coming up on like eight, eight almost seven years seven years okay and i've only been with honest to god one dude since yeah and i just don't yeah yeah man nope. i've had i mean i've had opportunities and i've had like oh yeah but i just i just and messages from people who listen to the show even it's fucking oh, crazy yeah. I mean, no, I reese just, even i mean you never know but yeah well, <laughs> his voice sounded weird uh <laughs> That's okay. I won't be able to hear him. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, but Ball yeah, gang. man, I think it depends with gay guys. It could be as qu quick like yeah. lesbians, or it could be fucking forever. Uh, yeah. When you're younger, you bounce back a little. Yeah, little, dude. And yeah. I think that's the same with straight people. Yeah. Well, yeah, but here's the thing. Like, I think um, so. What I have noticed, at least in the close people that I have to refer to, is that as a guy, it's significantly longer than the girl. Is what I've noticed. Now, whenever you're in high school, yeah, dude, a week, yeah, two weeks, really, it, you, you can't, can't really, really go by that anyway. I'm talking that's when, not real. when you're an adult, though. Yeah, that is like that's a that's a pretty sticky situation for guys. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I've on average see like six months, yeah. six, six months before you dive into a relationship after getting divorced or some shit like that. At least six months. However, in the female's perspective. She's already had the guy. The right. guy was already there. Yeah. There are people. Fucking there are, women. There are dudes sliding into those DMs like you couldn't no. fucking imagine. Oh, yeah. And it's as immediate. As, yeah. It's it's immediate. Those yeah. guys are just watching her like a fucking hawk. And then whenever it's over and done with, or whenever they have a scent yeah, of the right. relationships getting a little rocky, those bitches just slide right. Oh, but I, that's just my best friend. Fuck you. No, it's yeah. not. You just couldn't fuck her before I did. That's what yeah, it is. Right. So, anyways, that's what that is. How about you, Derek? Two hours. <laughs> hours <laughs> lesbian that's a, that's long enough to get through a pretty good 80s movie and i think you're ready to start <laughs> fucking again there you go oh uh, mm -hmm. god i swear to god when my, my my when my wife leaves me i'm gonna lean on you guys a lot to just make sure i don't commit suicide okay yep okay. we got you don't I, worry i've got I'm a sorry, pistol not, you can borrow no. sorry, sorry not that word i meant i meant unalive myself yeah yeah so anyways uh, so yeah, good I to told you, man. You ever feeling sad? I got a gun and some bullets. I know. Tomorrow. I know. Uh, next one comes in from Cody Duffy. He wants to know where do you draw the line? What is the appropriate age to give your child a cell phone? This is a very different question for different generations. Oh, hardcore. Your generation was like eighteen. I mean, you bought your own, and you bought your own. Yeah, right. If you wanted one, you bought it. Yeah, and there's. No parents buying their kids' cell phones when I was younger. My dad bought me one when I was 16. No, 17. Because I was driving. My dad bought me one when I was 40 because I'm a poor piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> does, that count? does that count? Yes. <laughs> okay. 100%. Cool. Uh, but now you got kids with cell phones that are like fucking six, seven years yeah, old. What the crazy. fuck is going on? Now, there's there's different ones, though, and there's different settings. And I mean, the people. Yeah, like the jitterbug bullshit. <laughs> no, no. I mean, like just an iPhone in general. You can put kids' settings on there where they can't go on the internet. Uh, they yeah. can't do this. They can't do that. Basically, it's a communication device. That sure. You can keep track of where they're at. That, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that, I don't especially either. the way the world is now, man. Absolutely. I mean, if they could be walking by Diddy's house or something. And you absolutely. Just, you make sure fucking, they have that yeah. handy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, it's just it's just different. I, I'm I if I have a kid, uh, I say ten. 
I'm, I'm going to go more like uh, that's you're going younger. I, no, I'm going, no. I'm going to probably, you know what? Actually, I take that back. Uh, I think that's I, something I to look forward to 10, to, 10. Eight to 10. I like 10. 10 cool yeah. because that's like, you know, you're not, you're also not a single digit number. You're 10 now. So now you yeah. get a phone. Okay. Yeah. I like that. How about you, Derek? 12, 12. Okay. Go, that's the sixth grade. Yeah. You don't, you don't need okay. one if you're younger than that. Yeah. Okay. I like that answer too. So uh, both, both of those I'll go with. What? JP, what? I wouldn't care if I ever got a cell phone. If Derek was my dad, I'd hate myself. You know what I mean? I <laughs> fucking not, cell phone's the least of my problems. Dude, if yeah. I was your dad, you wouldn't be alive. That's true. <laughs> That's, Good point. This is true. Good call, man. There's coat hangers, my stairs, mom, my mom shop backs. Never, my mom would never have fucked you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Think, think what you want. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Cody William Price, another serial killer. Oh, serial killers. Serial killers. We should start a book. We should. <laughs> we should. Uh, he wants to know where do you draw the line? On a scale from 1 to 10, what is the lowest you would go if you just want to get laid? That's a good question. Oh. V-neck socks, JP. <laughs> V-neck <laughs> socks. That's like a negative 5. <laughs> uh, the scale doesn't go down there. Um, man, it's, it's really kind of like... That's real subjective, anyway. But I'm gonna yeah. go with like, like in your head, you, you know six. what you know what your scale is six. in your head. Okay, six. Okay, okay. that's see, see, like, have I fucked threes and fours? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> but there were other factors involved. It wasn't because I was desperate. Yeah, I, know. I was fucked up. I know. So uh, I just know from my history what I've done, but what I would say now, I am definitely a high six, a hard yeah, six. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? That's where my, yep, yeah, I'm with you. But I did fuck a four once. Right. And, uh, yeah. Like, that's the hard, the six is the hard deck. You can go below it, but you got to get right back. <laughs> yeah, up, otherwise, yeah. Yeah, you hit a mountain. Absolutely. So, yeah. Uh, how about you, Derek? I'll stick with you guys. I'll go six. Six. On that. Okay. Yeah, well, no, six, six, six. six. <laughs> That's why I picked it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next one comes in from Braxton Lint. This is also a modified idea. Is that, this the the dad guy? Maybe he's Braxton Lint. Yeah. Kid. No, it's not. No, no uh, it's not. I well, I, Braxton, get busy, buddy. When, Come when, on, you're disappointing. When us. We, the kid's already Facebooking and shit. Yeah. Yeah. When we go to the, when, yeah. when we go to the break, I'll find him. I hope he's so. Like, what age do you get your kid a phone? The womb. <laughs> the womb. <laughs> I just shoved one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton. My wife Lynch. just keeps calling him. <laughs> <laughs> FaceTime's the worst. Yeah. Uh, he wants to know if your spouse asks you if they look fat in these clothes, how honest is too honest? Honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you, how long do you want to be married? <laughs> yeah. Right. Honest is too honest. <laughs> yeah. It's My wife had, had a shirt because she's been doing this with me. Uh, the other day and was like, does this make me look fat? Because it was really baggy on her because she's lost weight, look quite a bit of weight yeah, too. And I was like, no, <laughs> not at all. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Did she? Huh? That was it. That shirt was huge on her. <laughs> but I still wasn't going to tell her it made her look any larger because. Sure. And really, I mean, it would have been a compliment to probably say yes because, yeah. again, it was just hanging. It looks yeah. like a dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it did. Yeah. It did. She's got a lot of shit that she's bought that now looks like a dress. That's Remember it. when you're editing this to make that a clip <laughs> and send it out on TikTok. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> uh, I, I agree. But yeah, if you wear clothes that are larger, oh, yeah, that are sure. too big, you yeah, look bigger. bigger. Yeah. yeah. So... I, I, my answer is I, I like to fuck with my wife a little bit. Yeah. Oh Dude, yeah. Your wife weighs like 25 pounds. Yeah. Oh, that, right. Braxton weighs more than your wife. <laughs> yeah. He just was born. <laughs> yeah. So uh, she'll ask me, how do I look in this? And if it's something I really don't like, I, I, I will make a joke. I will make a joke and be like, you know, you, you look like fucking something stupid, whatever. And, and sh it'll be, it'll be over or crossing the line to the point where she knows I'm kidding. But I sub I, I like subjectively put that in her head and then she changes into something else. But it has nothing to do with her weight or if she you know looks she looks good in everything. So she's you're hot. An, you're an abuser. No, you're a mental abuser, <laughs> no, and that's I, no, fine. He keeps not. her thinking that she's like yeah. a five, right? <laughs> right. That well, way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's like, makes, oh, I, she's that like, makes I, sense. I out kicked my cup. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's smart. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyways, yeah, in the Special Olympics, you out kicked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No shit. Uh, everybody answered, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, and last one, where do you draw the line? This comes in from David Lane. He wants to know how many beers or drinks does it take? Uh, does it take you until you have no filter? Ooh, 
That's a good one. I have no filter now. Yeah, that's true. None. That's I get true. I get brutally honest yeah, you after do. like probably we, we, three whiskeys. I'll start just. <clears throat> You know, here's the thing I really don't like. Yeah. Like that's where I'll fucking yeah. start going. It is true, Sarah, man. Yeah, it, it, is. it is. I'm I'm with Derek. It's it, it's definitely See it, it's weird. I'm that way already. Yeah. I just am. You are, but you're still polite. I'm polite, but when I drink, I'm even more polite. Like are I you really Yeah, because mm. I think I make the extra effort to not yeah. fucking completely because yeah. I'm so bad already that I I really do make that that yeah. effort to fucking not be that way. Yeah, when I was, when I was drinking a lot more, I'd, I I would turn into douchebag, annoying douchebag, and I and Derek has seen me do it, and I still am apologizing for a said situation that we're both thinking about. But uh, but yeah, which it, one? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, situations. There you go. Uh, my bad. Uh, but yeah, it, yeah, I'd say three or three or yeah, three. We're gonna go three. Uh, but that is that's where I draw the line. Now we get to move into questions and preguntas. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for participating because we're always going to probably pick one of hers, and that is going to be Taylor Moroski. She wants to know what is a bizarre profession you never want to do? Gynecologist, <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Like, oh man, not gonna happen. I would be like, Whoop. yeah, oh, it would not be good. Ah, uh, man, that's yeah, that's definitely one. And this is not even bizarre, but uh, I, I don't ever want to be a pilot, never, yeah, fuck that, you couldn't shit. do it, no, dude. I would pay so much money just to see you in a simulator. Oh, fuck that shit. You would, and like have the engines cut out or something. Dude, you would lose your sh- I would love to see that, dude. We could make that happen. I don't, well, you know what? I, hold on a second. I just thought of it. You know, like the people that go into the ocean and like retrieve stuff like, Ooh. like fuck that. Yeah, that would suck fuck too. that. The that's, divers. Yeah, the divers. You can kiss my ass. Yeah, Every, no way, no everybody, how, dude. That's the one. That's yeah. definitely the one. Uh, everybody that goes in like a tropical yeah. vacation and say oh yeah you know we went scuba diving and but 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 fuck that yeah. shit i'm not getting <laughs> yeah. in that no yeah. so that's mine how about you derek you know whenever they breed cattle yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> and, no and then like the bull has to like mount this fake vagina yeah. and, like i don't know if that's called a bull jerker offer or what that's fucking yeah. called but that guy you don't want to be that i don't know i don't want to do that uh, like oh, let me just collect this jug of semen i'm basically that take guy it on now. over to the <laughs> semen hut and <laughs> You know, it sounds bad, but it's not as bad as it's you think. Really, it's really, it's, yeah, I'll it's pass. Not, it's, it's really not. I'll pass. So, uh, it's okay. That's great. Uh, you guys jerk off all the bulls you want, <laughs> JP. I know you're happy to. You don't even have to. So You just I'm hold good. it there. No. The only reason why I know this is because, like, one of, uh, well, I'll just say it. My, my, <laughs> I'll just say it. <laughs> How <laughs> many <laughs> drinks is that? <laughs> this, this, this is water. Uh, no, uh, my brother's fiance, her her dad is big into cattle. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so. so basically these jerks cows and jerks <laughs> off bulls. I mean, maybe. Pay is good. Yeah, it's fucking really good. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, next one comes in. From, you know what? I, we don't even give him enough credit. He's on the show quite often, too. Yeah, Braxton he Braxton Lint. Yeah. Uh, he wants to know. Oh wait a minute! Hold on a second. Is that our draft idea? No. Okay. You sure? Yep. Okay. Uh, he wants to know uh, rejected porn parodies. Huh. Ooh. Porns have names. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. But you, not I, the ones I watch. Uh, yeah. No shit. <laughs> like, is he mean like Forrest Hump? Yeah. Yeah. Oh Something yeah. Something like that. Oh, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Go, go ahead. Do you have anything, JP? Sixteen candles. Oh yeah. Up my pussy. Oh nice. Okay. Nice. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna go. Uh, son of a bitch. I can't think of it off the top of my head now. It's the uh, you know the Nazis and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. What is that called? <laughs> There's lots of those. Uh, how about uh, oh, we can go with Citizen Kane? We can go with. Well, uh, it's got to be in the name though. Like, oh, I got to make the name. Yeah. Oh, I don't fucking yeah, that's know. The whole point. Yeah, that's the point. Okay. Well, then what, what's yours, Derek? Uh, I got a few. Okay. I uh, know you do. Jaw Patrol. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sperm Goalie. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Schindler's Fist. <laughs> uh, Clifford the Big Red Rocket. <laughs> uh, Pirates of the Caribbean: Curse of the Black Pearl Necklace. <laughs> uh, one flew over the cuckold's nest. <laughs> 
<laughs> the Jizzer of Oz. Nice. And Goodwill Munting. No, oh, that's the best one. Absolutely. I got to start reading these questions. Yeah, I know. Uh, ahead of time, because that's how he rattles all this shit off. Oh, absolutely. I, I guess you can go with Boy Story. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. That, I mean, that that would be one. Um, finding Pedo. I mean, Trans- that's it. Yeah. Transgenders. <laughs> finding Pedo. <laughs> the Puff the Daddy st- story. <laughs> Sorry. I like it. Oh, man. I like it. Maybe we'll have Travis make us a book. <laughs> yes. Or I could probably do that. Uh, Tran- yeah. Transgenders and Decepticums. Nice. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one comes in from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know, what should be the new slogan for the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast? We have a slogan? Absolutely. What keep, is it? Keep laughing, keep laughing assholes. Oh. Absolutely. How about keep eating assholes? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, ooh, I kind of do like that one. I, that's a good one. I, I like mean, it. All right. Um, he, and the other question that he put in there is, what do we call listeners of the show? I've always called them uh, sideliners. Dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> fucking <laughs> pathetic losers. <laughs> yeah. uh, or assholes. Surely have something better to do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I whenever I like do the show or run up, I have the show in mind. It's just to get away, just get yeah. away from life, man. Yeah, so man. that's that's my slogan. How about you, JP? I don't. Oh yeah, you had you had what? I don't think I have a slogan. Oh uh, like, well, yeah. Keep laughing. Keep, keep, keep eating assholes. Keep eating assholes. I yeah. like it. How about you, Derek? Uh, the average person walks past thirty six murders in their lifetime. <laughs> that's it. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it. Uh, next one. Shit. Uh, next one comes in from a guy <laughs> named Jeff Stutz. What? My name is Jeff. <laughs> and my name is Jeff. And uh, his last name is Stutz. St- Stutznegger. <laughs> uh, Stutz N word. Uh, and he. <laughs> it's like Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But Stutz. Okay. Yeah. 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 Jeff S. Yeah. Negger. Not it's the way Jeff. you say it. <laughs> no. It's Jeff Stutznegger. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, he wants to know um, what's the worst place to have a Tourette's outburst. Well, church. Yeah, I was gonna say. Maybe. I was gonna say like a eulogy yeah, or something, something like that. Something yeah. like that. Um, Funeral. Yeah, yeah, those are always kind of like the the good answers. Yeah. But like, I'm thinking more along the lines of uh, like whenever you're in the middle of a prostate exam. <laughs> like, yeah, that would suck. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> just, yeah. just all of a sudden, blurt out just something. Yeah. Get your fist out of my ass. Uh, loud too so oh, that yeah. when you walk out people are like jesus christ do i even want to go in there <laughs> yeah. yeah and people with Tourette's, it's always like a phrase that just is kind of goofy it's like stinky fingers or yeah, some like shit like halfway that halfway through you see like two people get up and just leave they're <laughs> like okay i didn't sign up for all this absolutely uh how about you uh the world series of miming oh yeah yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> It would yeah. be a very terrible time to do that. It would be. Yeah, Absolutely. you're like, you're knee deep in the box. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. And then you're all pulling the, on a rope, yeah. and then all of a sudden. Fuck shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jean Pierre had that until that <laughs> fuck shit that ass. Yeah. <laughs> if only he didn't have the Tourette's, he'd be an awesome mime. Yeah. Right. Oh, great. All right. Next one comes in from Mason Lind. <laughs> like a mime off. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Mason Lynn. He wants to know, America has the Easter bunny. What do other countries have for an Easter mascot? I hear Jesus uh, <laughs> is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the mascot's supposed to yeah, be. Uh, most other countries aren't fucking stupid. And Mexico has yeah. Jesus. Jesus. That sure uh-huh, does. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> they're, only, they're the only fucking country that names their kids after him. That was the fucking best South Park episode where <laughs> Jesus was boxing, boxing Satan. Boxing Satan, yeah. And the guy introduced Jesus, and the announcer was like, and in the red corner, whatever he fucking said, and he's like, Jesus El Savior <laughs> Christ. <laughs> That's who I want the mascot to be. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to go with, um, uh, let's see, a drunk pack of cigarettes is what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's a callback for Jeremy Joseph. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, who hasn't answered? Uh, I'm going to go with Man Bear Pig. Ooh, that's good. Half man, half bear, half pig. That's right. That's a lot of halves. <laughs> it's a lot of super halves. cereal. <laughs> kind of sounds like it's too many halves. Right, nope, it, it is half man, half bear, half pig. Okay, uh, but anyways, I last. Wonder where the man parts at. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, the last one comes in from Cameron Newkirk. He wants to know, what is the worst way to be dumped? JP, you should know this one. Yeah, go got? ahead, buddy. Um, I have mine. So, it, I didn't get I didn't get dumped, but the relationship ended because you got my ex <laughs> was like, "Hey, took a test. I have AIDS." Oh no! You know what I mean? So that's bad. I feel like yeah, that is bad. That I mean that ended it. Oh yeah, for Luckily, sure. Luckily, I'm good. Good for you. But <laughs> spectacular. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that happened. Oh, uh, that's but awesome. that was pretty young then too. So the worst way to get dumped is to walk in on your oh, spouse yeah. cheating on you, yeah, and then dumping you, and then allowing who she's with finish. Oh, that would be the nightmare of all nightmares. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> So you had me. I, I was on your side till you said finish, and then mm. I I don't understand yeah, that, those porn. Imagine, I don't understand dude. that porn. Could you imagine? No, that would be that would I, suck. Oh, that'd be immediately like. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, Derek, uh, those are pretty bad. Mm-hmm. But man, just imagine getting a cameo from Paulie Shore. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh boy, <laughs> what's up, buddy? <laughs> Your girlfriend's to hop on some other dude's weasel. Oh, <laughs> fuck yes, that's great. Do that again. <laughs> do the, do your weasel. You're just weasel. gonna have to listen to it again. I'm, I'm gonna watch it over and over, dude. It's gonna be you know how in YouTube it breaks down the like most favorite parts of people, yeah. but people that rewatch oh, yeah. this part or oh, this, yeah. that's gonna be rewatched a lot. And he does that fucking noise whenever he's just sitting there being bored. He'll do that yeah. noise all the I fucking love time. It. Anyways, that is questions and preguntas. Everybody, thank you so much for participating in Munt Day Friday. Uh, be on the lookout every Friday. I normally post it in the morning, and uh, depending on when we record, um, you know, it's either Tuesday or Saturday, so I would put your suggestions as fast as you possibly can. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, and JP fucking won. Not by technicality. I really won. He really you won. love me. You really, really love me. <laughs> he won. Apparently, he has the, uh, you know, the worst ways to off yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, if you're going to win. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't understand how you win because I, my... Uh, pick you always say this every week. Actually, made Lizzo you, quit. Yeah, it made that's her true. quit. That's true. Jesus, but we didn't know that then. That's true. We didn't. So yeah, but that's okay. Uh, but anyways, um, Derek wasn't here last week, so he gets the first overall pick. I came in second. I get the sandwich pick, and JP, the winner, gets the championship picks. Um, this week's draft. The championship picks are the worst, no, by the way. I don't. I love them. I win with them quite a bit. He does. Well, I, you win all the time. It's Fuck true. Off. Yeah. I am pretty amazing. Well, yeah. he, <laughs> <laughs> he's at that age where Facebook was really cool when it came out, yeah. and he, all of his friends are right. still there, yeah. so that's who votes that's for true. him. None of my friends listen to this show. He's so full of this shit. This show sucks. <laughs> 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 they have better taste than that. <laughs> God damn it. No, it's awesome. Uh, but anyways, Derek is going to tell us what this week's draft is. Derek, uh, oh, what, okay. you, what you got? Um, it is going to be uh, movie titles that if you just saw the title, you would think it was a porno. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and pass. Okay. Uh, but I wanted to have this draft sponsored by the person who I didn't. I, I couldn't find the message, so I couldn't give a shout out. But Brett Wilkinson is the gentleman who had the name. Congratulations, had, who had Brett. The, the baby. But w- me and JP, as we were looking for this, we yeah. were talking about we're this. We're kind of he, upset, aren't we're we? We're kind of upset. Mm-hmm. We, he named his child Braxton. And I, we were just kind of curious, like, why didn't you name your child after one of us? Oh, yeah. I mean, that would be what. That would be you know, cool. Be, that'd be really smart. The Maybe other, then we would have remembered your name. <laughs> Oh my God! But no, I think uh, you know, especially if the if the baby is still pretty young, it's not 
it's not, you know, it hadn't been that long. You can go ahead and change That's it. That's true. You could change it you now. You can just change it. You haven't Good fallen point, in love with Scotty. that name. I think you can change it. Who Good wants point, to have Scotty. a kid go through life with the name Scooter McFuck? <laughs> <laughs> could I be mean, cool. I mean, let's be real, Scott. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not that bad. I don't think not it's that bad, bad. Not a bad gig. You're going to have to be somebody to yeah. make that work. You Absolutely. know what I mean? That could make your kid and fucking. That's, again, why I go shopping at 2 o'clock in the morning to get Correct. my groceries. Correct. Can't be recognized. Can't be running into people. That's right. Uh, but yes, so this week's draft is going to be movie titles that you automatically think it is a, a porno. So, uh, Derek, you get the first overall pick, my guy. Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a... I'm glad you took that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off with a bang. Yep. Well, I, uh, I, I like this one. I'm going to go with the uh, Adam Sandler movie, Big Daddy. Yeah, there you go. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. And JP, you get the championship picks back to back. Um, I'm going to go with uh, The Bone Collector. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good. And What's Eating Gilbert Grape? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. shit. Okay. Uh, I am... Um, God damn it. We both found this one, and I like this one the best, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to take it as my second pick. I'm going to go with uh, a Batman movie. I'm going to go with The Dark, Dark Knight, Knight Rises. Rises. Good one. <laughs> love that one. I love that one, too. Okay. Derek, go ahead. Step Brothers. Yeah, you get two nice. in a row. <laughs> I've seen that. I've, I've actually seen that one, and it is hot. <laughs> God, I wish my parents would have gotten divorced earlier. <laughs> Jesus, that's so disgusting. All right, and you get your second pick. Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, man. All right. Uh, I, well, <laughs> I got quite a few. Uh, I'm going to go with Up. All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, and JP, you get two back to back. Uh, let's go with, uh, hmm. Man, there's so many good ones, dude. There's so <laughs> many good ones. Uh, let's go with There Will Be Blood. Yeah, oh, that's a good that, one. That was, my, that was one I was looking at. And uh, then the other one, Not Without My Daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that one. Those were the two I was going for. The Bone for. Collector is my favorite, I think. So yeah, yep. me too. Well, as an avid collector. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I am going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go with a movie called The Black Stallion. Oh, hey. That was 1979. Man, I was going to say, shit. <laughs> That's an oldie but goodie. Yeah. Uh, and Derek, you get to uh, Snatch. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking given. Good one. All right. And then your final pick, Derek. Get Hard. God, fuck. Damn good. it. That's a good one, too. Yeah. You suck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I have quite a few. To <laughs> Do we cock story? C O C K S. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's walk hard. Yeah, oh, that hard. is walk that hard. Is right. That's Ferrell different. Will Ferrell. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Um, let's see. I am going to go. Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. The shaft. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And then, JP, wrap this bitch up with your knockout punch. Let's do it. While you were sleeping. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. There's so many more of these. Oh, there's oh, a, got ton. a giant list. Uh, oh, there's, there's a ton. Giant. Oh, my God. I had The Secret Window. Yeah? Uh, Space Jam. Space Jam's a good one. Uh, I like that. Sin City. Uh, Sausage Party. Yep. The Other Guys. Yeah. Uh, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest goes to camp. Oh yeah, holes. Oh fuck, oh, that's, that's a good, a good one. one. Daddy's home. Yep. Monsters ball. Ooh yeah. Yeah. Blow. <laughs> Blow. James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> shit. There's so many. There's of these. so many. So many of these. God damn it. Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> Dirty Harry. Oh, See? that's not good. Goldfinger. Goldfinger is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's so many of these. That was a good draft. That's a great draft. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that is awesome. I think I won this one. I don't know. I may, this may be back to back. This may be. I think me and you. I think all three of us. They're all some, good. They're all they're good. good Mine are better. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can. Only we'll time will tell. Only time will this tell. This will be a close one. I yes, think. it will. Uh, well, and and we're gonna have a you know a draft uh, where you guys can go and vote. You can go to facebookcom slash laughing on the sidelines and click on the corresponding emoji of the list of uh, movies that sound like they're pornos. <laughs> Movie titles that sound I just like they're think, pornos. I think I have advantage. List? Huh? Is there an actual list? List of what? Uh, I thought you guys were like looking online. I was just going from like what no, we had. there yeah. we were like the list he's talking about. Yeah, like, the uh, list that vote we on your made. list. Yeah, the, yeah. One, the one that we made. Um, or, yeah. you can, or you can go to Twitter, which is or X at L O T sidelines and vote there as well. I and can take those consideration. MySpace also. MySpace as well. I think I have an advantage because I always have this emoji. <laughs> that's why so I, I feel like yeah. that's yeah. why I do that. That's right. Uh, but yeah. But anyways, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and J Fucking P. And also Derek Alders. Ah, uh, wow. Encore, yeah. huh? Gee. And yeah. also. What? Braxton. Braxton. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world. Does he have a sound? Uh, that's pretty good. That's yeah. that's that's not bad. Sure, there it yeah. is. You that's can it. Do the baby cry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that button. <laughs> yeah. We need to get some more buttons. We need to get some more buttons. Uh, but anyways, I'm very excited about this laughing on the sidelines shitty situation. Uh, this week it is. Would you rather you have a job on Cameo where you get to be uh, used, and uh, would you rather and do abused it and abused? <laughs> Would you rather have to be the guy on Cameo that lets a guy know that his girlfriend is breaking up with him or be the guy that basically tells the uh, another person that they probably have an STD? Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be the breakup guy. <laughs> you want to be the breakup guy? All day long. Oh, yeah. that suck. Hey, John, it's me, JP. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that uh, Beth doesn't love you anymore, and she's been fucking Greg. Uh, you know, I, you know, I love that. I would have so much fun with that. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out Beth thinks you're a total fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> she only wanted you for your money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. That's. I'll go with that one too. It, I feel bad for him, but I feel bad for him too. But I'd feel so much worse if yeah. it was the other one. Oh yeah. no! See, let me fucking do the <laughs> STD. <laughs> I'm all about that. Okay. Like, look, Mike. <laughs> Turns out those aren't kidney stones. <laughs> Ashlyn has chlamydia, yeah. <laughs> and you do too. And you do too. <laughs> That's fucked up. I think that that kind of news should be be like more of like a singing telegram. That's the best way to, <laughs> yes. to break that news. Yes, that's what they do. The, the, the doctors, whenever they do a test on you, they don't call yeah, you. They no. just send it out in the mail. Yeah. Like, hello, my baby. Hello, hello my honey. <laughs> Your dick is straight on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it burns when you pee. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going. I'm definitely going with the breakup. I know I, it's abusing and it's abusing. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's abusing, but it keeps losing. <laughs> and it just won't go away. <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh shit! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this week's episode. May I say that this one was a fucking doozy, boy. It's a banger, baby. That's a banger right there. Holy shit! That was a fun episode. That was a very fun episode, uh, guys. Uh, thank you both very, very much, JP and Derek the Rec Alders. Uh, Derek, I hope you have fun doing the little baseball thing. I hope you have a really good time doing that. We'll miss you. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, it'll be Scotty a couple weeks. more than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you'll equally miss me. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're cheering you on, man. Uh-huh. We're cheering you on, dude. Seeing you on Mondays and Tuesdays is pretty rough for me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <I agree. laughs> dude, every time I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, is this the day? God, yeah, <laughs> it's getting close. Every day, I'm looking for my thirteenth reason. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to get down to your casket weight, though. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. Going, I think I'm. I think I'm up to eight Paul Bears now. So I'm getting, <laughs> that's that's getting there. I was good. a cool dozen. Yeah, nice. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for everything that you do with the show. We sincerely do appreciate it. Keep on sharing the TikToks and the social medias. We're going to do a lot more stuff over on YouTube uh, just for the possibility of TikTok going away. Uh, and so if you don't already follow us on all of the other platforms, please do. Uh, please do. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So thank you guys all so very, very much. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope you jump rope with barbed wire. <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. The average human walks past 36 murders in their lifetime. (laughs) Until next time. That's it. Okay. That's the slogan. Okay. (laughs) Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.